read in any order, lesson 1.6. When we look at an addition sentence, an addition equation, the numbers that we add together are called the addends. Addend. We have our plus sign, we have another addend, is equal to, and our sum, which is our answer. We can add addends in any order. When we change the order of the addends, the sum is the same. Two green gems plus one purple gem equals three gems in all. If we change the order and put the one here and the two back here, one gem plus two gems still equals three gems. We're still adding two green gems to one purple gem. See? We're still going to have three gems. Emma has two green gems and Tala gives her one purple gem. How many gems does Emma have? Two and one more. She has three gems. Or if Emma has one purple gem and Tala gives her two green gems, how many gems does Emma have? One plus two. She still has three. So it doesn't matter what order we add our add-ins, the sum will be the same. We can color the squares blue or red to match the equation, then change the order. 3 plus 2, we can have 3 blue ones plus 2 red ones. 3 plus 2 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares. If we change the order and have two red ones plus three blue ones, we still have five squares colored in. It doesn't matter what order the add-ends are in. Five plus two, if we have five blue ones, one, two, three, four, five, and then we have two red ones. How many squares are colored in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven. If we change the order and put two red ones, And then we put five blue ones. How many squares do we have colored in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven. It's the same amount. It's the same sum. It didn't matter what order the add-ins were in. Let's try it again. Four plus three. We can have four blue ones. We can have three red ones. How many squares are colored in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can change the order and color three red ones first. Then we can put the four blue ones How many squares are colored in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's still seven, even though we changed the order of the colors. See? The sum stays the same. Write the sum. Circle the addition sentences in each row that have add-ins in a different order. So in this first row, let's write the sums. Six plus one more would be seven. Seven is the number that comes after six, so one more would be seven. Seven plus one, seven and one more, that would be eight. 
1 plus 7. We have 1 and we add 7 more is the same as 7 plus 1 because it doesn't matter what order they go in. That's 8. Which two addition sentences in that row have the add ends in different order? We've got this one and this one. What is 4 plus 2? 4 and 2 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2 more. 4, 5, 6. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 and 1 more, that's 7. 2 plus 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Which two addition sentences in this row have add-ins in different orders. If you said this one and this one, you're right. One plus five, we have one and one, two, three, four, five. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. 5 plus 1, the add-ins are just in different order, aren't they? That's a 6. And 6 plus 2 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 2 more. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Which addition sentences in this row have add-ins in different order? If you said this one and this one, you're right. See? A row goes across this way. See? So that's a row, that's a row, and that's a row going straight across. Choose add-ins to complete the addition sentence change the order, write the numbers. So what two numbers can we think of that will equal eight? Let's try to make it so they're not the same number because then it wouldn't matter if we change the order, would it? What numbers equal eight? How about seven plus one? That equals eight. So change the order. Now we put the one here and the seven here. And what will it equal? It will be equal to 8. The sum stays the same. Let's try it again. A number plus another number equals 7. What numbers can we pick that will equal 7? We could use 6 plus 1. We could use 5 plus 2. We could use 3 plus 4. They all equal 7. Let's use 6 and 1. If we change the order, then the 1 goes here and the 6 goes here. And do you know what it will be equal to? If you said 7, you're right. Because if we change the order, the sum stays the same when we add. Write two addition sentences that tell about the picture. Well, there's four owls. This is going to be the sum. The sum is going to be four because there's four owls. And we know it's going to equal four, don't we? So now we need to think of two numbers that we can add together that will equal four that we can change their order and it'll still equal four. How about three owls plus one owl. Three plus one is equal to four. Now we can change the order and do one plus three is equal to four. Let's try this one. There's just one truck. So it's going to equal one 
for both of them, we could say zero trucks plus one truck equals one truck. And then we can switch the order and say one plus zero equals one. And that would make it true, wouldn't it? That tells about having one truck. Draw the lines to match the same add-ins in a different order. So we have a lot of equations here and we need to draw a line from the dot to the dot for the equations that have add-ins in a different order. Here we have 5 plus 2 equals 7. So on this side, do you see the add-ins in a different order? Here, it's right here, 2 plus 5. Instead of 5 plus 2, we have 2 plus 5. So we can draw a line to connect this one to this one. See? How about 8 plus 2 equals 10? Do you see the same add-ins in a different order on this side? 8 plus 2, if we switched it around, it would be 2 plus 8, wouldn't it? So these match. 6 plus 4 equals 10. Do you see the add-ins in a different order on this side? Here we go. 4 plus 6. That's in a different order. 6 plus 4, 4 plus 6. So we can draw a line from this one to this one because they match. And we have 3 plus 4 equals 7, and the only one left is 4 plus 3, and they are the same add-ins in different order, so we can draw a line to match those. See? They still equal the same sum, they're just in a different order. So now you can do the hands-on on pages 43, 44, 45, and 46. And when you're finished with that, you can do the practice and homework on pages 47 and 48. If you have trouble doing this, try watching the video again. Our next lesson is put together numbers to 10. That'll be lesson 1.7. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please hit the like button so I know, and read the questions and the problems carefully. I hope you do well, and I'll see you next video. Bye.